right guys we are starting this video out here at Lowe's and I'll tell you why here in a second all right so after last week's video of getting some underwater footage and I really like the idea of that I want to see if I can get some footage of uh, sheep's head eating my bait on film underwater and what did I learn from dropping that GoPro underwater uh, on my fishing line tied to my pole one of the first things is, is it's not stable that thing spins around I can't control what kind of footage I get for those of y'all that follow the channel you know that I made a bracket to hold the GoPro as out of PVC so I had PVC laying around the house made this simple bracket out of it so I could use it for my kayak. Why not just actually buy some PVC? So this is gonna be half inch PVC. Got some sleeves and some 90s there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these PVC pipes into five foot sections. So these are 10 foot long. We're gonna cut those into five foot sections. And the reasoning for that is based on the footage that I got last week. So these sheep's head were not sitting directly on the bottom, okay? They were moving up and down the water column. So. I'm gonna cut these into five foot sections. I've got my sleeves. That way I can adjust where that camera is gonna be based on where these fish are hanging out. All right, y'all, we are off to go try the same spot we did last weekend. I do have my camera mount set up that we're gonna do up underwater. I already know some changes I need to make to it, but I was too impatient. I'm too excited about trying this out. It should work for today, but there are some adjustments I'm gonna make to it. And we'll go over that later in the video. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, we can go one more down. That'll work. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, guys, this is where we ended up fishing last week. Um, they actually set up some more buoys, so they've actually blocked this cove off. Now I'm going to head to this next one which hopefully it's as deep as this one was and hopefully I can get out of this wind. Let's go over the setup real quick. Like I said, this is just some MacGyver stuff I came up with. Very cheap stuff that I bought from Lowe's. Didn't cost me a lot of money. I ended up mounting this clamp to the end of this PVC and that's when it's gonna hold on to this seawall here. And that's just gonna drop straight down like that with the camera, that's the plan. fish number one in the camera all right y'all sheep's head number one in the boat he's a little tiny one and he was sitting on the bottom what I haven't had any luck doing so far is getting these sheep's head up around my camera so I can try to get a capture on film, which I think would be really cool. Kind of the whole point, that I'm, the reason that I'm out here. I wanna see if I can get one actually eating the bait. Kind of give y'all an idea how tricky they are to catch. And there's a reason they call them convicts. They are some bait thieves and they're very good at it. So, sheep's head number one. Let's see if we can get a keeper on camera. I got my camera. I had a fish. And then proceeded to hook my own camera. <laughs> okay. Man, this is this is some tough stuff. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. All right. Let's see what we got here. Feels like a sheep the way it's digging. Feels like a good sheep. Crap, y'all, as a monster sheep. Big sheep. <laughs> Whoa. Calm down now. Don't you get me wrapped up in these rocks? That is a monster sheep sitting on the bottom. All right, let's get this thing backed up before I lose him. Come on back up here. Big old sheep. Boom. Woohoo. Ah, there we go, y'all. Big sheep. Man, I wish I could have got that one on camera. He was sitting down there at the bottom. Right. Just look at them teeth, y'all. So they'll just come up and just kind of pinch at it. They don't run and haul butt with it. They just, they'll sit right there and just chew on it. That is a good one there, guys. He's probably 18, 19 inches or so. We're gonna get him in the bag. There he is. There's another one. Yo, I done found the sheep's head hole. Man, these are some good ones too, y'all. Some quality sheep's head. Get up here. Ooh, he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. Where is he? Come on over here. Another keeper. I might have gotten that one on camera too, y'all. That was kind of right where I needed it to be placed. I cannot wait to see this footage. All right. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Man, I double hooked him. Oh, stop, stop, stop it. Stop it. There we go. Looks out. Man. This is a riled up sheep's head. Quick measurement. He's 16. Another good one, y'all. That's three in the bag in like five minutes. Fish on. Little sheep. <laughs> What's up, little guy? You're the one that's been stealing my bait, huh? There we go. Just that easy. And remember guys, always take five seconds to just check your line. Make sure it's not frayed. You know, fishing so close to these barnacles on this wall, it doesn't take much for them to rub up against it and fray that line. It doesn't take much to rub up against it and fray that line. It's gonna save you some heartache when you hook into a big old fish and he breaks your line. Kind of like what happened to me earlier.
Oh, oh, you get that thing on the way down. I wasn't even near the pylon. I have another sheep, another good one. Nice, y'all. I don't know if I was able to get him on camera either. <laughs> Man, I was in the process of dropping that thing down, and he hit it. Nice. Just back to back sheeps right in here. Ah, there we go. Y'all, another quality sheep. I ain't measuring him because I know he's long enough. Man, he's got something jacked up with his tail. It's kind of weird. I lied. I am going to measure him. I want to see how long he is. I'm going to try to keep him in the net when I measure him though. That's 18. He's bigger, or he's. He's smaller than the first one. That first one might be closer to 20. Put that in there. Open the bag. Chunk him in. That ain't no sheep. What the crap is that? Y'all, this is like, it's a fish, but it's like dead weight. What is the deal? What is this? Oh, there he goes. Now he's running. We loosen the drag. We're out in the open now, so probably a big old drum. Trying to go back towards those pounds. I'm trying to stop them. Let's turn my whole kayak around. And I can't get his head turned. Oh, nope. He decided to run. Right, let's see if I can catch up to him. Turn that head. Tighten the drag just a hair. If I can get him to go back out into open water. Stay away from these. This wall, I don't want to get cut off. Ah. Come on, get that head turned. Come on, show yourself. <laughs> that is a massive black drum. God, no, oh, that's a dinosaur. Man, look how dark he is. Look at that hook. It's barely hooked in the top of the mouth. Freaking dinosaur, yo. <laughs> Man. What am I supposed to do with this big old thing? Oh, I'm going to cut my fingers wide open with that braid. I'm trying to do that. I really don't want to knit this big thing. I thought the one last week was big. This thing is massive. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all. Last week's doesn't have anything on this one. Look at that. Just barely hooked. Right there in the top of the mouth. Oh, I don't even know if I can get this thing picked up without tipping the kayak. All right, one, two, three. Gosh, oh, yo, man, I hope y'all can see that. All I got is my head cam on. Look at that freaking fish, y'all. Woo, massive black drum. Ah. Oh. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to stand this thing up to where y'all can see it. Cool. I feel like Lion King right now. <laughs> oh, back in the water. Just like that. Woo, he was slimy. I mean, just slimy. Yeah.